And welcome back! We're still talking about literary criticism, and this time we're touching on feminism, a hot topic these days. Now, feminism, as you probably already guessed, examines women in literature. But it's not just women, it's really the tension between male and female imagery within a piece of literature. Now, originally, feminism worked kind of like New Criticism with a presupposed opposition. You remember how in New Criticism we talked about tensions within the text. If you've forgotten your New Criticism, you can click over here and watch the video again. But in our text, instead of examining and just looking to see what tensions we can find, we go into the text looking for the tension between male imagery and female imagery, between female imagery and male imagery. And then we explore how both those symbols are treated. Are the female symbols being diminished, being pushed down, being suppressed? Are the male symbols being championed? That's usually the case, and usually what we discover. But we might also find that the female symbols are bursting free and coming loose, and maybe that's some sort of feminist kind of text. In feminism, you're going to see words like patriarchal a lot. Patriarchal comes from the word patriarch, which means father. And so in feminist criticism, you're going to be looking for the ways that fatherly figures or strong male figures seem to dominate and control the literature. The goal of feminism is to expose that and to point out that the females are not treated as fairly. It's also extremely important to realize that we're talking male and female symbolism. We aren't just talking male and female characters. Certainly there might be some interesting things to say about the way the female characters are treated or the way the male characters are treated within a text, but it's important to note that it goes beyond that. We're talking about anything that deals with the idea of the male or the female. In Thomas Foster's book, How to Read Literature Like a Professor, which is an excellent book and one I highly recommend, he does a great job of examining the concept of gender and gender symbolism. Really, anything that is a bowl or receptacle kind of object is usually depicted as female. Anything that is a key or a tower or something pointy is generally depicted as the male. So keeping your eyes out for that kind of imagery can help you to see what a feminist is looking for. Now you might notice that a pen or a pencil also falls into the realm of male symbolism. Gilbert and Gubar in their book The Mad Woman in the Attic make a great point of this in the very first line, showing that men seem to try to control writing and communication, and therefore they tell women how to think and how to be and what to believe. More complex forms of feminism do more than simply call this tension between the female and the male into the forefront. They actually question this tension and deconstruct it. What does it mean to be female? What does it mean to be male? If you wanted to do this deconstructive feminism, you can feel free to. You just would go use the theory of deconstruction and apply it to the tension between male and female. You can rewatch my video on deconstruction right here. So that's the basic theory of feminism. Now don't forget, you don't have to be a woman to be a feminist and to look at things from a feminist perspective. It's an interesting theory, no matter who you are. Thanks for watching. You can click on one of the links over here and watch one of the other literary criticism videos, or click here to subscribe. Click on the word literary criticism and you can watch the introduction video again. I'll see you next time.